and welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, Courtney Dowlett. Welcome to the show, we're hanging out and craft together. Today we'll be going over Brothers Rotary Auto Blade Kit for your brother's scanning cut. Let's do it. The Rotary Auto Blade Kit is probably one of the coolest kits, in my opinion, that has come out because it's super, super great. If you're doing fabric, this is your best friend. This, this is your best friend. They have made your best friend, here he is. Um, so let's go ahead and let's open her up. There's our kit. And then our little blade sitting right here and our activation card. If you watched our previous videos on the vinyl kit, same kind of concept. All right, so take our little blade out. Welcome to the family. I'm very excited. I have another, I have another one. <laughs> I have another one. I have one already and I've been using it and I love it. So I'm really glad to have a second one. So we have our blade. We're gonna set her right here. We'll go over her in just a bit. Let's go over what's the rest in here. So let's open this up. And what you're gonna get is your activation card. It just says, it says Alex on it. It's your little activation card. That way you can um, activate your rotary blade on canvas. And a lot of people always ask me, Courtney, do I have to activate it on canvas to use the blade? No, not technically, but there's so much that comes with it that why would you not? I mean, there's so, and I'll show you all the different things that come with it. It's kind of insane. I don't think people realize it and they don't activate it and they get the cool blade but they don't get all the extra bonus stuff. So very, very important. So we'll put this off here and we'll activate it together. All right, and the next thing you get is this little pamphlet right here that tells you, there we go, and a bunch of fun different languages, um, where to go. So downloading the instruction, or downloading the instruction guide, and it tells you to go to Brother Canvas, activate your rotary blade and all that fun stuff. So that is what that is. So we don't need these anymore. Well, I guess I'll keep this one. So I'm gonna put this back in here just so I don't make a mess. I'm trying to be better about in the new studio, about being organized and not throwing things on the floor. So put her right here. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna open my activation card because we're gonna go on canvas together to be able to use it. There we go. Putting things back, where they go. <laughs> here we go. So inside of here is your activation card. Your activation card is different from everybody else's activation card. You have a special activation card. So unfortunately you cannot give this card to someone else to use. Um, to activate on their account, it is personalized to your account. Once you use it, it is gone. So do not share that with anyone until you activate it, then it doesn't really matter. So put that there. Now let's go ahead and let's jump into the rotary blade. Now the rotary blade looks very different than most blades. Let me grab my other blade. Looks different than most blades. So let's say this blade right here. All right, so this blade is your fabric blade. So it's your tan fabric blade. This blade right here is your rotary blade. Now, depending on what model you have, on the um, 325s, you had this blade came in here with your black auto blade. On your 330s, this blade came in here. So yes, some of the machines come with this blade inside of it, and some of them don't. But if you have an SDX model, um, the 230, 225, 230, uh, 325s, you can get this kit separately to be able to use it on your machine. Now, any other scanning cut, I am not sure of. I know there are a few that can't use this one, but if you look on our website, we'll say which ones come up. But I know the 225, the 230, 325, and the 330 can all use this blade. The 330 already comes with it. But if you wanted to buy another one or a replacement blade, go work with your machine. Alrighty, so this one is your fabric blade, so fabric scissors. This is also like your fabric scissors. Okay, well, what's the difference? Why would I use this one and this one compared to this one? Well, the rotary came out, the rotary blade came out for specialty materials is what they advertised it for. For things like wool and felt and uh, silks and chiffons and really tricky fabrics is what this blade came out for. So unlike this blade, this we're used to this blade where it looks like this. And if you push down, you'll see the little blade, okay? This one, if you take the cap off, it is a actual little rotary cutter. How crazy is that? So I always explain it. Think of it like I could use my scissors to cut something, my fabric scissors, and it would do great. Or I could use my rotary blade and it also would do great. So rotary blade is just gonna give you a crisp, nice line um, where your scissors are gonna do great too, but there's just something about a rotary. Now, something to keep in mind with your rotary blade is that it's going to take a few seconds longer to cut something because 
This blade, your fabric blade, is going to cut around, do a great job. This one is going to jump. And a lot of people, if they didn't realize when they got theirs and it started jumping around, they were very worried and they stopped their cut. But that's what it wants to do. It wants to jump around because what it's doing is it's trying to find you your best possible cut. It's trying to find you the best crispest cut that it can. So it's gonna jump around to find that cut. It might not make sense to us. Why is it jumping here and here? It's reading and it's jumping around where it thinks that it can get you the best cut without shifting your fabric as much. That alone is really, really cool in my opinion. Now the um, regular fabric blade, your tan blade, it's gonna cut to a three millimeter thickness at once. Your rotary blade is gonna cut at a one millimeter th thickness at a time. Now it can do the three, th three millimeter thickness that the scanning cut can do. You might just have to run it, you know, two or three times. I've never had to run mine more than two times. So if you're running it more than three times, you shouldn't probably be putting that in your machine. <laughs> Remember three millimeter thickness, which is the thickest that a lot of the machines can go. So when would I use these? Well, if I'm cutting a regular cotton fabric, well then my tan blade's gonna do me just fine. But if I'm cutting felt, or if I'm cutting um, something that's a little tricky, then I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna take out my rotary blade. And honestly, I've noticed that I, just, I use my rotary blade even sometimes just for regular cotton fabric because it's my go-to blade. I know it's gonna do a good job. I know I'm gonna get a crisp cut, the best possible cut. It takes a few more seconds, so that is something. So if you're in a rush, grab your tan girl. She's gonna do you just fine, but so good so good so let's go ahead and let's activate our kit on our canvas account all right so here we go the, when you first go into canvas and i'm using the canvas the app but canvas uh desktop works the same so i'm going to actually come to pattern collections if i select pattern collection we see right here that the rotary auto blade kit is not activated so let's click out of here and we're going to come up here to help we're going to come to help and we're going to scroll down to account settings right here. Okay, once we're in account settings, we are gonna come to pattern collection activation. Now, this is where you're gonna put that code that was in your uh, kit. This is where your personal code is gonna go. Activate. Alrighty, and here's my machine right here. It's got my information showing the auto blade kit is going to this machine. It's not, I can't put this on a different machine. It's going to this particular machine. So I'm going to hit activate and it's activated. We're going to hit okay. And it brings us back here. But if we scroll down, now we see this pattern collection is now activated on our account. So let's go ahead and we're going to click that. How cool is that? Now, at only one given time can this rotary blade be used on one machine. Now, if you notice right here, machine registration change is limited by two times. So I can change the machine that this is registered on. So if I get a new machine, I can change it to the new machine up to two more times. So I can get two new machines and be able to register it. But I can only register to one machine at a time, if that makes sense. So whatever your current machine is, that's the one you're registered. If you've updated two more times after this, three times total, you have to buy a new kit. So that's how kind of how they do the workaround. But the nice thing is if something happens to my kit, I have documentation on my Canvas account about the kit and I don't lose it in case something happens to my machine. So if something were to happen to my machine, well, I wouldn't have to buy a new kit. I'd get my new machine, put in my new machine's registration and I'm good to go. So I like that they did it like that. Now, if we click out of here, and let's come right here to pattern or to uh, pattern and projects and patterns. And we come to the pattern collection up at the top. Now, if we go to our rotary auto blade kit, we notice that it is now activated. So let's select that. And it's asking me if it's okay if it opens a web browser and that's okay. Side note, if you started this in the app, you're gonna have to finish it in the web version. If you started it in the web version, you can just stay in the web version and finish it out completely. I just use the app mostly, so that's why I started it in the app. We come here, we go to pattern collection. There it is. All right, so we're gonna click this and now this comes. This is really cool in my opinion. So what this is, is all the different patterns that come with the rotary auto blade kit. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this. This is actually really, really cool. So all of these patterns come free with your kit, or I guess they're included in the kit cost. Um, so these are all included. Oh, look, 
if you recognize this one from the front of the pattern, it's Alex. Well, it comes with all the letters, so it's not just Alex. You can write out whatever you want, but it's a project that they give you. How cool are these? So let's actually click one. Let's click on this one randomly. Alrighty, now if you're familiar with Brother Canvas, you'll know that they like to break down each part of whatever it is you're making into different mats for you. So they're thinking, oh, okay, if you want these outer parts to be blue, here they are grouped, you know, each piece is grouped. You can put multiple on the mat at a time, but that's just how they break it out. Now, Get Recipe. Get Recipe is a guide, so we'll click that. It's going to show us a PDF guide of how to do that project. Now they give you a PDF guide for every single one. So if you notice, that was the one we were just looking at and they're telling you how they go together. So if we scroll down, you can see all the different ones. How cute is the hedgehog? <laughs> I love it. So it's a step-by-step -step guide. If you're a visual person, I appreciate this. I'm a visual person. I want to see everything broken down so I can see how to do the step-by-step, -step, how to do each one of them. Look, the little succulent. How cool is that? I love this. Love it, so cool. Oh, there's Alex. My son's name is Alex, so I'm a little partial to this one. But here's every single piece of it to be able to do that design. How cool. Little cat. I know my coworker Giselle is probably seeing the cat and being like, yes, I want this one. Like it's all the different ones. Now they do give you a breakdown of all these. So usually what I do is I save this recipe um, book to my desktop. That way I just have it at a click. So if I'm doing any of these, I can know. Now they are labeled. If you see these are different numbers that comes in really handy whenever you bring these designs into your machine, because it's not going to be as easy to notice who's who. Um, for a lot of things like the hedgehog, it's easy to see who the hedgehog is, but some of these, it might be a little bit trickier. So they do label them by name. That way, whenever you're selecting them in your machine, you can see by name. So let's click out of this for now. Now, download all parts means every single one of these you can download as a zip file to put on a USB or send it wirelessly, whatever you prefer. Now, let's go back. That one's really cool, but I do want to open up. I do want to open up this one. Come on, it's the main screen. How cool is that? So there's not tons and tons of pieces. It's just giving you the pieces except the name. So it's not giving you the name Alex because you might want to put it in your own name. So that's why they give you every single letter so you can put in your own name. But they did break out the little um, elephant and the clouds and everything and you know the little hot air balloons. How cute is that? And again, if you click Get Recipe, you can see how to do it step by step. Download all parts to download them to a zip file if you want to. It's completely up to you. So no one ever talks about this. And I think it's really cool that they give you all of these in there. So not only, that's why it's in pattern collections instead of premium functions like our vinyl one. Um, this comes in pattern collections because it gives you all these patterns for free. Now, if you notice right here, you see this download button. If we would click that, what it's going to do is it's going to download every single one of these. So all of them, and it's going to download it to a zip file that I could send wirelessly or I could send through a USB. And then that way I can take it over to my scan and cut and save these on my scan and cut. So I don't have to keep putting them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I can just save them all onto my machine. And now they're kind of like the, designs in the um, machine. They're openly ready and available for me. So I have my USB in. I'm going to take that file, drop it over to my USB, and it's automatically going to add it as a zip file into my USB that I have everything. So, so now I have that in my US, on my USB, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my machine over on the side. All right, so let's go ahead and retrieve data from our USB. Now, if you notice this, it looks a little different than what we're used to. If we go to my collection, there's our rotary. And look at how cool is that? Now I changed the name to Rotary Blade Kit. That's me changing that. You can change it whenever you save it. So here it is right here. So if I select this, it takes a little bit of time because that was a lot of patterns that it's having to retrieve. I love it that they do with the same picture that's on my kit that I purchased. So that way I know which one it is. I can kind of keep them together in my head. Now earlier I talked about how each one of these are labeled. Each pattern is labeled. So it's DX Rotary Blade, um, Rotary Blade Kit, and then whatever the number is, 1003 underscore A, B, C, or D. So it's each pattern and then it has a group. So A, B, C for each of the parts. 
They're saved on your machine. So now you don't have to keep worrying about bringing things over. There's all the letters. You can, of course, go down a few at a time, all the way down to the bottom, if you know your patterns towards the bottom. How cool is that? There's the cat. Oh, look, there's the little elephant. All right, so I'm going to select this one just to select one at random. There's my little elephant and his ear. So I'm going to hit OK. And there he is. Now, if you notice that one, last time I used a 12 by 20 format, so my settings are to that, but I, of course, can change them. So cut area to a 12 by 12 if I wanted to, if I didn't want to use my 12 by 24. Hit OK. And there she's ready for us to cut. Now, so a lot of times with these different kits, I always get the question, Courtney, can I take those patterns that I just got and cut them out of something else, not just fabric? Yes, you can cut them out of paper, you can draw them, you can do whatever you want. They are not locked. So you can do anything under the sun that you want to do with these. So these are free patterns, free things that you can do, um, cardstock, cork, felt, whatever you want. Now, back to the rotary blade. So we've seen the cool things there in Canvas. So I always say it's good to register yourself on Canvas, register your machine, register your kits. That way you get all this additional cool stuff. I mean, if you've already paid for the kit, might as well use it at full ability. So now that we have that, now I have fluff in mind because I, I use it a lot. Um, now let's go ahead and let's actually cut some stuff out. So right here, I grabbed just a few random bits of stuff. So this is a felt. It looks thicker than it is on camera. It's pretty thin and I can see through it a lot. It's not a high quality felt, that's a pretty cheap felt. And I wanted that because I want to show you that you really could cut anything. It doesn't have, you don't have to spend a ton of money on material to make sure that it cuts. You can buy any material, it's gonna cut. So this right here is a piece of cotton fabric that has been treated with, um, sorry, heat and bond light on the back of that, I believe. And a lot of people ask me, Courtney, should I use this blade to cut through it if it's got a paper backing? Because this is for fabric and that backing's usually got a paper part to it. Should I be cutting through that? Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm more worried about my fabric being cut nicely. Now, if you want to dedicate one of your rotary blades to having, you know, cutting out things that have a paper backing, if you want to de dedicate a blade, so say you have two of them and you want to dedicate one of them to cutting out things that have a paper backing, that's between you and your blade. I don't. I'm just, I would rather just wear my blade down and buy a new blade. I mean, it, it doesn't make a difference to me, but that is a personal choice. It doesn't hurt the blade. It will wear down faster over time, but it takes a while to wear these blades down. So it's not something I usually worry about, but that is something if you want to, that is up to you. But again, I just cut straight through. So let's see, what else do I have? All right, and the last fabric I have right here is a uh, just a piece of regular cotton fabric, nothing special about it. So. I have these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on my mat all together and I'm going to run it through and the machine's going to go around and you're going to see her jumping around to cut. So let's go ahead and let's get our mat ready. Now I'm going to use, this is my fabric mat, so think tan and usually it goes along with your tan fabric blade. However, for this, I'm going to use my rotary blade, oh, almost dropped that, <laughs> my rotary blade with my fabric mat. So think if I'm doing fabric, I want my fabric mat. Alrighty, so. Ooh, I almost put paper side down. Why would that have been bad? Tell me in the comments. Why would that have been bad? Because paper does not need to ever go on this fabric mat. I will be picking off paper for a while. So we're gonna do fabric side down on my fabric mat. Now, if your image that you're cutting out is directional, just flip it, flip it in the machine. It's super easy. So, all right, so we have our mat loaded with three different things. I'm going to just load her in already. So. Right now I've got this in here. Well, I want to go ahead, I'm gonna hit edit, and I'm gonna delete out that ear, cause I don't really wanna do that right now. I just wanna do my elephant. So I'm actually going to object edit, and I'm going to add. Now remember how we were talking about if you wanna flip a design if it's directional, for whenever we flip that fabric, it's just right here. You just flip them the other direction. Now right now it's got it going both ways because it's both sides of the elephant. How cute is that? I'm actually gonna delete this elephant out, because I want to take this elephant, I'm gonna size him down because some of that fabric I cut pretty small. So I wanna make sure that he fits on there. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna add two more elephants. Okay, okay again. Now before I move them to where I want them, I'm gonna come here to this mat with a bar and I'm gonna scan in my material so I can see on my mat exactly where my material is. Oh, it's just asking me about the lever on the side because I have a thick felt on there. So right now she's scanning through. Oh, that lever is right here. It's got a one and a two. 
So I can flip it up if it's a thicker material, flip it down if it's a thin material. So now I can do both. That's how we get that three millimeter thickness to be able to come through there is that lever on the side. But the machine will tell you when you need to flip. So there's no guessing game. On our mat, it shows us where our red material is, where this blue material is, and where this material is. Now this was a white backing, but you can still see it on there. All right, so I'm gonna click and I'm going to move my elephants where I think that they're gonna best cut out. All right, there's one. There's my other guy. Now he's not fitting on there as well as I want, so I might actually rotate him. Object edit, rotate up here at the top. He's on there, looks good. And my last elephant, I uh, will put him here. Hit okay, okay again. And now we're ready to go. So let's okay, please select and cut. So there is not any additional features that, you know, have the embossed and foil. There's no special button. It's just cut for this one. Now, something I do want to talk about is, oh, I like how they're on. You can see them now. Um, is if you come to this wrench icon right here. So we might not have had a special button, but we do here. So if we scroll down one, you'll see cut mode. Cut mode for rotary blade. So right now it's on normal, normal cut. But if we were to select over, we could change it to fine. Fine is whenever you have a material that's very, very light finicky, in my opinion. It really needs to slow down cutting to make sure that it doesn't shift anything. Now for this felt, uh, it's okay. Sometimes I would use fine cut for that, but any cotton material I wouldn't. I would just do normal. For all of them, I'm gonna do normal right now, but if I felt like this felt material had a very open weave or it was, a, it was very soft and wispy, um, and I was really nervous about this material shifting in any kind of way, that's when I would want to do fine cut. So fine cut is when you really want to be as gentle as possible, a very fine, fine cut um, to be able to do it. It does take a few seconds longer, but it's a beautiful cut. So this stuff that I have on right now, it's fine to do a normal cut, but if you're not sure, go ahead and put it on a fine cut. It doesn't hurt. So we're going to hit okay. Alrighty, so before we start, I'm gonna take my black auto blade, which is the last one I used, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my rotary blade. Drop her right there. And again, if you ever feel any resistance right here when you're locking your blade in, just check, make sure there's no debris or anything like that. Should just lock in just fine. No, no pushing of any kind. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's hit start. Now with the rotary blade, it does take a little bit extra long. This was a very simple design, so it's only take three minutes. If I had been doing it with one of my other blades, it probably would have taken shorter than that, but three minutes isn't too bad. So we know she's coming down. You see, she's hopping. So she's not just going around, she's, she's hopping. She's finding her best cuts. Look at her go. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. So it had a pretty curve to it. So she just went around like how you would do with your rotary blade. She just went around, did that beautiful cut and then jumped somewhere else. I'm a geek if you haven't noticed about these kind of things. <laughs> I love this. Oh my goodness. And I love watching because I want to like, I, I wouldn't assume going here than going there would be better, but she's like, no, it is. And I trust her, it comes out great every time, so trust. Now, whenever this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up on the edge of my material and see if it cut all the way through. Uh, and a lot of times you can notice, but again, like I, I said before, it's gonna do a one millimeter thickness. Well, that uh, felt, it's bigger than a one millimeter. So I'll probably have to run her again on that and she's gonna go right on that cut and do beautifully. Now with your other blades, how they work, since they go all the way down whenever you're cutting, is they're gonna sense how deep that material is and they're gonna come around multiple times. So they're gonna come down once and kind of score it. Then they're gonna come down again to cut all the way through. So you get that beautiful cut. So with this machine, or sorry, with that blade, with the rotary blade, she's coming down, and, but she's not trying to force that knife down. Like this one, it, it doesn't want to force the knife down. That's why you don't get as many rivets when you cut and stuff like that, because it wants to do it gradually. So I'm okay with having to run it again. Um, if it's a super thick fabric, if it's a thin cotton, like how that blue co uh, cotton fabric, I wouldn't have to run that again. That's, that's probably good to go. Um, but that felt, that thick felt, I might have to run it a second time. I like how I say then watch it prove me wrong. <laughs> now while she's cutting out, I wanted to tell you thank you to everyone that came last week to our first live premiere. I just I just saw that that was a feature on YouTube and I thought it was kind of cool. So if you were on our YouTube channel and you got to come to the first live premiere, thank you, thank you. It was so cool to talk to you all live in the chat. So I think all the videos going forward, I'm gonna do a live chat. Um, so let's say seven o'clock on the dot, I will come in and um, do a live chat with you guys 
for the first time that the video runs. So seven o'clock on the dot, I will be there the whole time that the video runs. I know she's done already. For the whole time that the video is running for the first time, I'm gonna load this. Um, chatting with you guys, watching the video with you for the first time. Well, I've watched it a few times, but <laughs> first time with you guys watching. And y'all were great. Y'all were like, Courtney, you forgot to put this in the description about Courtney. What about this? And I'm like, oh, dang, thanks. I need y'all. You're like my editing buddies. Thank you. Because <laughs> I, I forgot. Um, so thank you so much to everyone that came to that. Oh, guys, guys. I didn't have to run it a second time. That's so cool. Should I be using my spatula and being good about getting it off? Yes. But I don't want to. It did not really good. Look how well that, I mean, that's, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm geeking out. Even with the paper backing, like, I'm just, I'm geeking out. I'm geeking. And, like, I could still use this belt. Like, how, okay, Courtney, focus. All right, and then this one. Courtney, use your spatula. No. Again, with the cotton fabric. How good is that? Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. That came out so good. So now if I wanted to do an applique and do that pattern they gave me, here's my elephants. My elephants are good. Oh, his little tail. How cute is this little tail? I'm dying. I love it. All right, let's get this one off. Now, this is when I am cautious, and I do use my um, spatula because, like, my cotton fabric right here. How good. Now, I did, for this cotton fabric, I did kind of spritz it a little bit with the Cheerio Magic. Not much, but I did spritz it a little bit just to be transparent. Um, you don't have to, but since... I travel so much with my material. I've treated a ton of material with just a little bit of material magic, not a ton. Oh my goodness. I just cleaned this mat and there is felt on it. That's fine, it's fine. Anything for the craft. And seriously, yeah, if y'all watched last video where the five tips and tricks, um, it's super easy to clean my mat, so I'm not that sad. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. How cute is that? I mean, it really did a good job. I mean, it's perfect. And I didn't run it a second time. I, this is me underestimating things and it doing great. Now, do you see how much gunk is on my mat? You can see the outline. Cereal Magic, hit it with some of that, wipe it down. It, my, my mat's back. It's actually still sticky. It's actually pretty still sticky, even with that crud on there, which means I probably won't clean it right away. So, very, very cool. How awesome is that? There is no scoring on my mat. It's perfect. And now I've got three different things that I've treated. I mean, it did so well that it kept kept that paper backing. It did not ruin that paper backing. It did not tear that paper backing anyway. It just cut straight through it perfectly. So whenever I'm ready to do my apple, I just peel off the paper backing, stick it on there, iron it, and I'm good to go. So very cool. Very much love this blade. And again, I didn't have to put each one of those on. I always check it for debris. Um, I didn't have to put each one of those on a separate mat and make it do them one, of a, one at a time. I put them all on the same mat. And the blade knows to check every single one of them. So she's thinking the whole time, checking all of it to make sure that she's perfectly cutting out every single bit that is on my mat. However, it needs, so that particular piece needs, she's only gonna cut out just for that. So very, very smart uh, blade. I think that's why she has a bigger head than everybody because she's so smart. Um, very, very cool. So one of my favorite blades, I think it's really neat. Again, if you showed up to the premiere, thank you, thank you. We're doing that every single video. So seven o'clock, come chat with me live in the comments. Now, speaking of something really, really cool, I did mention it in the last video. I gave a little tease, but there is something really cool coming up. So August 25th and 26th, I will be in the San Antonio store, in our San Antonio store, uh, with a really cool event. So you'll be able to sign up, come take classes with me and a bunch of other really cool educators. Very, very excited. I will be there teaching Scan and Cut and having a ball, hanging out with you guys. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Plus, they have this really cool vendor mall that I'm really excited about cause for me, for shopping. So come shop with me and come hang out. So as soon as they have a pre-registration for that, I will course let you guys know but so you can get your spots so very very excited once i know more information i will let you know so i'm so excited it's gonna be a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about the rotary auto blade kit it's a very cool kit if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because it's the easiest way to let us know that you want more of these videos and y'all have a good night bye